So with this beef, no knife required. Just a spoon, look at that, look how tender it is. First up, we need to make an epic marinade for our beef ribs. So I have a sticky chili and ginger Asian steakhouse marinade, which you guys can buy if you're in the US. But if you can't find it, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to make it all from scratch. This is like one of my most favorite family recipes and I'm sharing it with you guys. So I'm gonna start off with some chili because it's a chili, it's a chili marinade. Um, you don't have to go hot with this. You can just use mild, large, big red chilies, which I'm using today. Today. And then we're going to go in with some ginger, fresh ginger. I love the comforting smell of ginger. Mm, so good. Now for some garlic. And now I reckon with marinades, everyone has like their own little secret ingredient. So my secret ingredient for this one is pickled garlic. Now this guy adds so much tanginess, umami, saltiness, all of those good things. Um, you can pick up pickled garlic at um, Asian grocers, you know, in the international aisle at your supermarket as well. Just check it out, it's a great one. It's optional, you could leave it out if you can't find it. So, but um, it really adds something special. Now, one of the other secret ingredients that I often add to marinades at home is onion and garlic powder. So the onion powder and the garlic powder add a sort of intensity that you don't get from the fresh ingredients, which I really like. And now we're gonna get into the specifics of what makes a really good marinade. So you want acid, you want salt, you want sweet. All of those things will help with flavor and tenderness. Now for that tang, I just want some white vinegar. So for the salt, I'm gonna add some soy sauce and a couple of good spoonfuls of sea salt and brown sugar for the sweetness. And then finally, just a little bit of water. And then just blend. Mm, that smell, oh, so good. We'll try. That is the tanginess, the sweetness, whoa. Chili kick, that's got some sass. I love this one. So the next step is to brown off our beef and I'm using some nice big chunks of short rib today. Very exciting. Okay, so the secret here, guys, is nothing about sealing in juices or anything like that. The whole point of this process is to get flavor. So that brown, beautiful color on the outside of the meat, that is flavor and that's what we're after. So I want you to treat each piece of beef like it's a queen. Pay it the attention it deserves, sprinkle it with some salt, and then the sound of magic happening. The sound of flavor, that's what we want. We want each side to get a beautiful, lovely caramelization on it. Okay, now don't overcrowd your pan. Just give everyone a little bit of space in there. And ah, uh, look at that beautiful color. It is looking good, so I'm gonna take them out, put them straight into the bowl of my slow cooker. If you don't have a slow cooker, you could just slowly braise these on the stove top or slowly roast them in the oven, either way is fine. Okay, now see all this stuff left here in the bottom of the pan? That is pure flavor that we don't wanna waste. So I'm gonna pour our marinade mixture into the pan and deglaze it and lift off all of those lovely crusty little bits. Mm, it smells so good already. Okay, now this is ready to go straight onto my beef pieces. Just make sure everyone is nice and happy and snug in there. Now for this, you can do it overnight or six hours, whatever setting is on your slow cooker. What we're looking for is beautifully fork tender beef. All right, let's see what we've got. Mmm, certainly smells good. Ah, and look at those pieces of beef, wow. They are so beautifully tender. They're literally, the bone is literally just falling off. Okay, be gentle. Ah, oh, losing a few bones. Man down, man down. It's all right, sign that we've done the right thing in here. Now, all of this braising liquid in here, this stuff is pure gold. And we're gonna turn it into an amazing finishing sauce just by reducing it down a little till it's nice and thick. And now this is one of my key tips for whenever you're reducing any kind of liquid. Do it in actually a wider pan because that's more surface to evaporate all that liquid rather than a smaller saucepan. It'll all happen quicker. Now I'm just gonna take off some of that oil as that's simmering away. So it's just a little bit of that big fat. And you wanna let this simmer down for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, now this is the magical stuff that we're looking for. Look how thick and glossy and amazing that is. Oh, pure alchemy that is, just magic. 
Now each of our little lovely pieces of beef here gets a nice basting with this awesome sauce. And now you just want to get those into a super, super hot oven for about 10 minutes or until they're nice and charry at the edges. Now, would you look at that? Ah, oh, that is just heaven. Now I like to serve these just in a bowl and just finish off with a few more little drizzles of that sauce and then a final sprinkling of spring onion. So this beef, no knife required. Just a spoon, look at that, look how tender it is. Ah. This is amazing guys, you need this in your life.